Okay, so I think I'll have enough time to get one more page done. And this is the inside cover to the album. I went ahead and posted the outside cover, put my ribbon on, put my ribbon on. And now I'm gonna do the inside cover and it tucks right up under the ribbon. And I've already put the adhesive on three edges of this so that it makes a pocket on the inside cover. And you know, I, in my introductory, I showed you that I had all of my pockets uh, put in Ziploc bags so that I could keep them organized and all the bits and pieces. So I'm gonna add that right here. And it's gonna make a little pocket right here. Add that down and put that down. It makes a little pocket. But I'm gonna put another piece along the top. And this is the piece I'm gonna put up on the top right here and it'll all open like this. I'm pull this adhesive off. I found my poker so that I wouldn't struggle with my big fat fingernails. Um, in the example that Becky Adams did um, in her instructions, and you may want to do that also, um, she used a little bit of ribbon. And I'm just overlay, overlapping this about a fourth of an inch. You could butt it right up against it if you wanted to, but I like to overlap. You do it the way you want to do it, and it still has that pocket because it's got adhesive right there. You see, got a little bit of an opening so that these slide right in there like that. Then you take your, uh, you've got the metal chipboard. It's not metal, it looks like metal. And look at there. You know how that doesn't uh, stay. So, look what I got right here. This came from Walmart. Or, you know me, I don't go to Walmart. I ordered them off Amazon. They are lipstick pin cushions. Cutest things I've ever seen. Put my little stainless steel pins inside those. And get a little bit of zhuzhing around in there and then I can get my ink out. Now, I'm when I'm traveling, I don't like to, um, got a little bit on there, but it dries clear, no big deal. Uh, I don't like to carry my big bottles. I carry my little bottles with me. Put that on there like that. How cool does that look? Doesn't have the weight of metal, but it definitely has the look of metals. These were something new that I had never seen uh, in Simple Stories. Now with this book, they take advantage of all the essential uh, bits, pieces, and things that are available with this line. There we go, there we go. Now there's a there's little photo corners, and I'm gonna put the photo corners on with liquid adhesive too. You could you run these through a Xyron or um, Use a tape runner, use a glue pen, but when you're traveling, like I said, you're gonna get tired of me saying this, you, you reduce the number of things you have to travel with, and I'm gonna use my liquid adhesive. Pick this up, slide it right up under here, because it's supposed to be on this side. Give it a little zoosh, so it's, it's equal there. Now it's got on this side, right like this, we're gonna use these foam. I absolutely love these foam titles. I've got a trash can under my table now, so I'm not having to throw everything up on the counter. And this is the good life, just like that. And that goes on there like that. Now I've got one more piece that goes in my pocket, and this is that, that goes in my pocket. Now that's your inside cover. How easy was that? Very plain, simple. Now when I get back to the shop, I may come in here with a piece of lace that I cut 
from Elizabeth Craft Designs dies. I've got some journal dies that will go across there. Or I may even come in with just a piece of my lace. But again, you don't have to put lace or you can put lace. Now, if I'm going to sit here and work, I'm going to make sure I keep my stainless steel pen in my um, glue top. But I'm not going to because guess what? I'm headed to the beach. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to take this pen because it'll get lost. And I'm going to stick it in the top of my little bag so I don't lose it. Put it out to the side. There's my, and because I, I didn't put it back in here because it had that little bit of adhesive on it, uh, I have to clean it with my undo before I put it back in my um, pin cushion. I don't know where this went, but it was in my uh, inside cover. I think it goes in another sheet, uh, another page. I'll add it to the next page that it's supposed to be in. And if I had had my next page, I would have shown you how to do that one. But I did, wasn't prepared to show you for the next one. So when I come back on the next time, I'll do two pages. But that is your inside cover. This was your outside cover. Look how cool that looks. And I may end up tying that again so it's not um, turned on itself like that. But there is my ribbon. You can use any kind of ribbon. You could have used a little bit of jute in there with that. I think I'll end up adding some uh, trinkets to this to hold my ribbon down. Maybe some old keys or some lockets of some kind. I also noticed that I put my film strip a little bit lower than the example was, so I need to add a little something up in here. I'll go back through some of my leftovers and see if I can find something to add up in here. Maybe something personal. Um, if you were giving it to someone, you could even put a date up there or a person's name, but I've got a little bit of room right here to add something to that. But now I'm ready to start with my pages. But before I do that, I'm going to go spend some time on the beach with my family. Thank y'all for joining me this morning. Bye.